Live from Oslo 2012 in Melbourne, this one is Declan Lynch talking about his Mickey Mouse and Disney obsession. This is brought to you by the Nerd Girls, produced by Spike Studio. When I met somebody here, here this morning when I arrived in, they said, hey, you're not wearing any Disney clothes. Because I'm normally the person who has a Mickey Mouse logo under a shirt or similar. They didn't spot the Mickey Mouse logo on my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> so I met my wife around probably 10 years ago at Lotusphere. Obviously, Lotusphere is down at Disney, and we went to the Disney parks. And we were both pretty much addicted very quickly to going to Disney parks. Now, we do not have any kids. And every year we'd go back to the sphere, we started going to Disney a bit more, and eventually we kind of got to the point where we wanted to go to Disney, not at the sphere, you know, during the year. So we joined the Disney Vacation Club. It's a kind of like a timeshare type thing where you can purchase so many points and go down whenever you feel like it. We go to Disney probably around six or seven times a year. We don't have any kids. <laughs> Why do we do it? Well, we enjoy it. It's our happy place. And the, the entire Disney experience is full of inspiration. Um, if you just look around, the, look around the parks at the Disney parks and you see where Walt Disney has been inspired in different ways to... He, he had, a, he had the, the term of philosophy stuff. Everything he did, he always wanted to come back to and make it better. And that's inspired me in my work where I'm writing some code. I'm going to come back a little bit while later and go, you know what, I can make this better. And if I make it better, my users are going to be happier. It's called plussing. So that, that's just one part of the whole you know, inspiration of Disney. What we found is there are a lot of people like us, no kids, who go to Disney all the time. And there's an entire community out there called the uh, D23 Fan Club. Uh, D standing for Disney 23 is uh, 1923 when the Disney company was uh, founded. So D23 Fan Club is a, basically the fans of Disney from all around the world. And I, I know there's some people in Australia who are Disney fans, the UK, a lot of Disney fans. Over the last probably two years, this D23 Fan Club has just grown grown. As, as people have learned about it, it's getting better and it's getting bigger. They now hold an, ex an expo in LA every two years for all the Disney fans, where we can go out and we can meet the voices behind the characters and actually stand and talk to them, you know, this far away from each other, actually seeing, hey, that's the guy that does the voice for Goofy, or that's the guy that does the voice in the parks when you're at the park and you hear that, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls. He's actually, from, he's actually from Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that before I met him. So, Disney as, as a community is very, very big. It's very, very inspiring. Um, if you can take home some of Walt Disney's you know, ideas and concepts into your own life, you will find that you look at things slightly differently. You look, go, you look at things and go, you know, I can make that better. I can make this more enjoyable. And 